What's up everybody? It's Steve Sa and I didn't catch any fish this week, so there will be no fish. I went to the Root River, which is a river that flows into Lake Michigan in Racine. And I should have known I was not going to catch any fish in said Root River because that is a source of misery from a long, long time ago. Let me tell you the story. So I was in the Boy Scouts. When I was in the Boy Scouts, the favorite thing, for me at least, was getting patches. You do something and you get a patch and they sew it on your shirt or whatever. And there was one patch that looked so cool when I was a kid. The Root River Walk was something you could do to get a patch. But if you did the Root River Walk, a 14 mile walk, by the way, you got a giant patch. It was like a leaf. And I saw these kids that were in Boy Scouts that had the Root River patch on their back. Like it covered their whole back. And I was like, I want that patch. That looks awesome. I told my dad um, and my brother and everybody, I don't know, that let's do this. I want to get this patch. Let's do the Root River walk. And so we did. We signed up for it and we start walking and this is a 14 mile walk and I believe I was, I think the patch said 1985, I was born in 76, I was nine, I think, I don't know, I have to double check on that, but I wasn't old and we're walking and there's more than just my brother and I, there's my brother, my father, some other boy scouts, another dad and as we're walking it wasn't that fun, I mean it's just a walk near a river for 14 miles. And my dad was getting tired of one of the kids that was on the walk because he was whining a lot. Like, my legs are sore, can you carry me? Now my brother and I knew better than to complain to my father because he would give us no sympathy. I mean, we're the ones that wanted to do the walk in the first place, but my dad finally got tired of listening to this kid and he said one of my favorite lines of all time. So this kid's like, oh, my legs are wet. And my dad turns to him and says, suffer in silence. <laughs> it's a great line, suffer in silence. Use that on someone when they're whining. Could you please suffer in silence? Anyways, we do the walk. I'm jacked because we get to some park. At the end of the walk, they hand me this tiny little patch, like this little triangle, like beep, like this big on your chest. That's how big it was. And I was livid. I was like, no, this is not the patch. I saw a kid with this giant patch that that's what I thought I was getting. And the person that was in charge of handing the patches out was like, oh yeah, there's, you can get a patch right over there. It's $7 to get that patch. So I turned to my dad, I'm like, Dad, can you get the patch? And he said, Nope, let's go to the car. And then, didn't get the patch. And I believe that was the last year I was in Boy Scouts because it's a very disheartening experience to not get the giant oak leaf root river patch. So then I go fishing there thinking that somehow karma and you know i've been good in my life and maybe now i'll catch a fish in the root river nope caught nothing i got up at like 4 30 in the morning so i could meet some guy named joe so i could buy spawn sacks i don't know where i am but i got the spawn sacks that's a fun thing to say right spawn sacks <laughs> Oh, I hope they help me catch fish. To uh, hopefully catch some some steelhead, and I caught nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna try and catch a steelhead, which is a rainbow trout. Maybe I think I struggle with the fish identification stuff. Take for instance, I thought I caught a warmouth last week. How cute it is! It's so cute. Turns out it's a green sunfish. Either way, I hadn't caught it before, so that was species number nine. Ah! I tried like three spots on the Root River. I even went all the way to where the Root River enters into Lake Michigan and I caught nothing. So 
that stinks. So forget you, Root River. I'm done with you. I'm never going back. On other news, I've got a video on YouTube with a million views. Isn't that insane? It's not on this channel, the Tifsa channel. It's on the Tips for Running channel. A million views! I have a thumbnail of my wife running. That might have something to do with it. But, yeah, if you want to know how to build running stamina, a million people have watched it. Oh, and another thing, the last thing. This is so cool. So, a while ago I made a video about how Casey Neistat should turn one of my books into a movie. And I sent him my books. And check this out. He gave me stickers. Bam! This is not one of his stickers. This is actually from Jimmy Danko. Danko rules! No, that's my favorite sticker. But coming in a close second, look at all these stickers I got from Casey Neistat. So I got two $2 bills. They're not real, see. But I got two of them. I got... This Land of Lakes one, which is kind of cool because I live in the Land of Lakes. I actually played in a baseball league called Land of Lakes. I don't know if that's just coincidence. And it still says his name, Casey. You see it right there? Of course, American flag. Uh, do the right thing. Do the right thing. I got to put my phone number on that, I guess, and put this in my wallet. And then finally, it came in this cool package, which I almost felt bad ripping. You know, it was like sealed. It was sealed and I ripped it and yeah, it's pretty cool. So thank you, Casey. I love it. The only thing you have left to do is make my book into a movie instead of fighting with drones. I know that stuff's entertaining. Keep doing that kind of stuff, but let's make a movie, man. You know? That'd be amazing. All right. Take it easy. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I would have loved to have made a video with some actual fish, but I'm stuck on nine right now. Only have nine species. Got to get that tenth. Come on, man. Give me number one. This means you're number one, and you're going to like and subscribe and push all the good buttons. Yeah.